I'm Caddy Peterson. This is Director Mark. Today we're going to show you how we filmed our episode, Swimming with Manatees. All right. In every episode of Breaking Trail, we do our best to bring the audience with us into the wild for a grand adventure. We try to create a seamless encounter between myself, the crew, and the creatures. But in certain instances, depending on location and animal, this can be very difficult to do. I am literally surrounded by manatees right now. This is so awesome. Recently, the team and I spent several days filming with manatees in Kings Bay a series of canals that are peppered with natural springs, which attract these marine mammals each winter. Swimming and playing with these lovable giants seemed like the perfect opportunity to share with everyone exactly what goes into making an episode of Breaking Trail. There are various ways to get yourself up close with manatees, and if you aren't familiar with Crystal River, we definitely suggest booking yourself a tour with one of the many guide services. I personally love River Ventures. Led by Brandy and her team of manatee enthusiasts, they were our first stop when it came to preparing for a swim with the Giants. All right guys, well this is it. Time to get out of my normal adventure gear and into the wetsuit, which will keep me warm in the water today. I think it's gonna be my first adventure without my lucky hat, but that's okay, because today, I'm swimming with the manatees. All right, be right back. Whew. That is form fitting. All right, let's head out to the boat. With my wetsuit snugly, and I do mean snugly fit, it was time to check in with Breaking Trail director Mark Livens, who would be operating our main underwater camera on this episode. So Mark, what sort of shots are you hoping to get today? Good ones? <laughs> I really want there to be a situation where I can have Coyote near the surface and a manatee approaching him. I'm really going to be opportunistic because you can never predict wildlife. Uh, you kind of kind of take what you get and uh, make the best of it. That's what the goal is. Geared up, we were ready to go. Oftentimes when we are on location, we hire a local guide who knows the best places to encounter the animals we are in search of. When it comes to manatees, there is no better expert than Captain Sean who's been leading manatee expeditions for over a decade. But right now we're on our way to Jurassic Springs. The water is crystal clear. It's gonna give us the perfect opportunity to get the underwater cameras down in there and up close with these gentle giants. We saw a couple of manatees, but it wasn't exactly the look and feel that we wanted for the episode. Next, we slowly motored over to the Three Sisters Preserve, a beautiful spring with crystal clear water but at the time, it was just us and the fish, not a manatee in sight. Not seeing anything right in this area. We're gonna move up the river a little ways and see if we can come across some of these marine giants. Day one was in the books. We got some good shots, but the epic encounter we were looking to have just didn't quite happen. So what do you do with four hours of production left and no manatees to film? Well, you experiment with things that usually don't ever make the final cut of an episode, like this ridiculous intro. I'm Coyote Peterson, and today, we're getting in the water with one of the friendliest animals on the planet. That's right, folks. We're swimming with manatees. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> in total, Mark made me do this opening about 10 times. I think in the back of his head, he knew this would never be used in the final episode. But the crew got a kick out of watching me do it over, and over, and over. We're swimming with manatees! At 6 a.m., light was just beginning to break on the horizon. And as our boat cut through the morning mist, you could feel a sense of magic in the air. When we arrived at King Spring, the water was alive with manatees. And as soon as the sun was high enough in the sky to cast light into the water, we were off and filming. On location, everything is about communication and accuracy. So we frequently came to the surface to discuss the shots that were needed. So the baby banty is right here. Why don't you go on the outside? I'm gonna get around on the other side. Okay. We spent the better part of the morning filming the initial encounters. And trust me when I say, it's tough to get some of these shots. Mark, he's coming right for you. Uh oh, he's big. 
The manatees are not a production schedule, and they certainly don't understand when Mark signals action or cut. Basically, you get what they give you, and in our opinions, they delivered an award-winning performance. When it was all said and done, we spent two days in the field and captured over 10 hours of footage, which was ultimately edited down into the 7 minutes and 50 seconds that became our Swimming with Giants episode. Well, there you have it. That's how you swim and film with manatees. I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes perspective. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. This was our first time filming underwater, and while it posed many challenges, in the end we truly felt that the universe and these beautiful gentle giants gave us moments that will never be forgotten. If you thought it was interesting to learn how we make an episode, make sure to go back and watch Swimming with Giants. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.